Francisco Diego in London. He's a lecturer of physics and astronomy at the University College London. So why is the Earth spinning faster? We have to um, uh, remember, for example, the effect of a, of a skater, an ice skater, for example, when uh, she is uh, spinning around and closes her arms, it will spin faster. If she opens their arms, it will spin slower. Well, it's the same thing with the Earth. Of course, we have uh, move, uh, moving uh, masses of ice and water and land masses as well, which are moving. And they, if they go farther away, then the Earth will spin slower. And they go closer, it will be spinning faster. So we have to, of course, these, uh, these masses are negligible in this, in this respect, but also we are dealing with uh, uh, periods of time which are the, of the order of a thousand of a second. This is very, very small effect. So we have to think about glaciers, for example, that are disintegrating, they are uh, uh, um, melting, and then that's changing the, the amount of uh, mass, which is at high, it goes low. And then, of course, we have one of the main problems I have understood uh, is that uh, we are extracting a lot of water from the soil, and that water is coming to the surface eventually, it goes to the ocean or goes to the atmosphere, but that water is changing place from inside to outside and will slow down the earth. So these kind of things, but uh, in this case, it's not very clear what, uh, what is the problem. I appreciated that ice skater analogy, Francisco, my non-science uh, inclined brain, really, it really helped me. So, I mean, experts do predict that days on our planet could eventually become 25 hours long, but that would take a very long time. How long exactly? Well, it takes a long time. Look, there is a situation here. We have the Earth and the Moon, and there is a system here. It has what we call angular momentum, which is a kind of inertia that we have when the Moon is going in orbit around the Earth, and also the Earth going around, in, around the, the Moon in a way as well. Um, now, because the, the Earth has the oceans, the oceans are being pulled by the Moon, and with the rotation of the Earth, the Moon is pulling the oceans back uh, in that part, which is uh, uh, increasing the height of the ocean, and then that's slowing the rotation because of the of the uh, uh, of the gravity of the Moon, and then it slows the rotation of the Earth. But at the same time, in order to conserve the angular momentum of the Earth and the Moon, as a consequence, the Moon goes away from the Earth. The Earth is slowing down. It will take literally millions and millions of years for that process to become uh, uh, stable, and at that point. The, the rotation of the Earth will be one month, if you like, will be facing the, the, the Moon. The same way as the Moon is facing us all the time, we don't see the far side of the Moon, it will be a point that the Earth will be facing the Moon exactly in the same way. But that's far, far, far in the distance. We are talking millions and millions of years in the future. But certainly that is an effect that is, uh, that is happening. Okay, Francisco Diego, lecturer of physics and astronomy at the University College London, thank you so much for your time. It's a pleasure.